The London Irish Rugby Football Club has had to learn to share this week where their practice fields have also been the home of that New Orleans football club. Yeah, those Saints have been prepping here in London all week for the Dolphins. So, how has that worked out? It's been good. Yeah, listen, I think um, the people have been fantastic. There's, there's a lot of work that goes into, you know, uh, a week like this. The facilities, the fields here have been in great shape. Um, property and, and security, all of that has been, uh, I would say, outstanding. So, um, you know, it's enabled us to, to really focus on this game and, and the team we're getting ready to play. And, you know, I, I think it's been uh, a real smooth transition. It's clear the Saints seem united in the United Kingdom, where despite all the travel, jet lag, and sightseeing, amazingly, at the end of the day, they don't see this week as all that much different than any other week. How has the tempo been with all the changes and all the travel and everything else? I ain't going to say it's a strange week. Uh, you know, uh, you can have the same type of week back home. You know, the only thing different is we're in London. You know, um, games come up pretty fast. You have quick weeks. You have different weeks that, that goes on in the season. And uh, this is what you get paid for to do. To be honest, it hasn't really been that distracting. I think guys kind of went out and had fun the first couple of days, but you're away from all the distractions that are really at home. It was kind of, we're just here as a team, locking in, and we need to get this next dub. So Sean Payton and the Saints ready for their second trip here in London, and CST is ready as well. We're just getting warmed up in our coverage. We're going to have reports all week and beginning with CST tonight on Saturday, and of course Saints game day and Saints tonight on Sunday. Reporting from London, Mike Neighbors for CST.